Good morning, beautiful beings. What's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. And today I want to talk to you about fermented foods. Are they healthy? Are they necessary? Should we be eating them? Okay. So uh, there was a time when I was very confused and me, I like to find out the truth about everything, but it's hard because there's so much conflicting misinformation out there. So how are we supposed to know the truth? So, wow, if you remember from my old videos, this was all beautiful forest. This was all like crazy beautiful trees and they cut them all down, which I do not understand why. Wow, why would they do that? This is horrible. And there used to be like so much shade here from that and I don't get it. This is so sad to see, sorry. Okay, let me focus. Um, so, I did a lot of research in the last 12 years on fermented foods. And personally, they don't taste good to me. So I don't eat them anymore. And I, def I definitely don't recommend or eat them for nutritional purposes, for probiotics. Let me tell you why, okay? Through my research, I have discovered, I have realized that Kimchi and, and um, kombucha are things that need to be refrigerated in order to stay alive, right? The bacteria, the good bacteria in them need to be refrigerated to stay alive. But see, what happens is when you take that and put it into your body, your body has to lower the temperature. Of course, there's watermelon. Your body has to lower the temperature because, of course, we are 98 degrees, right? So... You know, our stomach is at a 98 degree temperature, but you have something that was in a refrigerator, okay, that was at what, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, right? And so it dies immediately. It can't survive in that heat, 98 degree heat, okay? So that's why I don't believe anymore in probiotics from kimchi and kombucha. Plus, I personally get very, very thirsty and dehydrated when I have salt. And all kimchi and sauerkraut and fermented foods have salt in them. I don't personally believe in salt anymore. I don't eat it and I've been feeling much better. My skin's been looking better. I've been just feeling better in general since I gave up the salt. Okay, so I don't consume salt, so that, that cuts out all kimchi and sauerkraut. Plus, I don't really enjoy the smell or the flavor. Um, and then regarding kombucha, personally, when I drink kombucha, I used to burp and have like bloating and have gas, which I never have. I never burp, right? And I never have any indigestion. But when I drink kombucha, I do. So... That's not to say I will never, ever, ever drink kombucha again. Yes, I will drink it again. Uh, like I have it on like New Year's and maybe when I get married <laughs> or something, right? Like that's when I'll have kombucha a few times a year um, for like a celebration or something. But honestly, uh, it's not a health food and I don't recommend it. What I recommend is fresh, ripe, juicy, delicious, fruit and vegetables the healthiest foods on earth okay the things that are alive you see kombucha and probiotics uh, I mean uh, kimchi and stuff like this that stuff can last years and remember if it can't go bad it already went bad and so fruit and vegetables have all the probiotics and prebiotics that we need now if you personally feel like you need a little bit more, if you have major digestive issues, you went raw, you're eating a raw vegan diet for at least, at least a year, I know, okay? Because it takes time to heal. It didn't take you a few weeks or a few months to get those health issues, okay? So it takes time to heal. So now, if you have been eating raw vegan for a year and you still have those digestive issues, then, I recommend you check out some probiotics that I found. Okay, they're spore-based. 
They're shelf stable, so that means they're alive even in 98 degree. They, they stay alive to get to your intestines because that's the problem with these com the kombucha and the sauerkraut. You eat it and then it dies and, it, and the probiotics don't get to your intestines, so it's a waste of money. Any probiotic that needs to be refrigerated is a waste of money. Now, I did find a spore-based uh, probiotic. I started taking it last year. Um, Matt from Raw Intuition actually recommended it to me. I started taking it. I really liked it. It really helped me to go to the bathroom more. So I used to go twice a day. Now I go like three times a day. And also, my hair is growing like out of control. And I'm so grateful because I, my whole life, my hair has never grown past my shoulders. So I'm really grateful. And um, yeah, I, I really think it's the probiotics. So check them out. I'll leave the link below. I am affiliated with the company because, but they don't send me free products, which I wish they did. I don't know why they don't. But um, I, I love the company, so I reached out to them. I did an interview with them. I'll leave the interview below. This is what I recommend, all right? Um, you could take it or not take it. However you feel is what you wanna do, okay? If you feel amazing, like absolutely amazing. Okay, there's so much seaweed here. This is gross. If you feel so freaking amazing uh, taking, um, probiotics that you're taking or doing kimchi or sauerkraut or kombucha then keep doing you boo but I didn't feel good I was always thirsty eating the kimchi and the sauerkraut that had lots of salt which is so goddamn dehydrating okay salt is not a natural food for humans it's a stimulant so I don't like to take drugs I don't like to do stimulants um, and then I just I burp a lot when I have kombucha so I know it's not healthy for me you know how I feel the best? Eating fresh, ripe, juicy fruit as, my, as the basis of my diet. A very fruit, high fruit-based diet. And then I have greens every day. I love greens. And I have um, juice. I love juice. And I have some veggies, but not a lot of veggies. I have greens, fruit, and I'm trying to stay cute. That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think of fermented foods and kombucha and probiotics down below. Um, it took me a very long time to come to this conclusion. I was definitely um, I was definitely putting kimchi and sauerkraut into my salads for the first like I don't know six seven years and I was using the brand called Wild Brine. I think that's the name of it. This is like one of the best brands. You can get it at Costco but I don't do it anymore. I just feel so much better eating only fresh food. Food that is unprocessed, food that is alive, fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds. Rare, not many nuts and seeds, just lots of fruit and veggies. And I feel good. And um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that kombucha and these probiotic, like uh, infused things, are just a way to make money. And listen, if you feel good, you don't take probiotics that I'm recommending. But if you don't feel good and you're eating raw, you've eliminated the processed foods, the meat, the dairy, and you still don't feel good, well, then check out these probiotics. You might like them. But don't take something if uh, nothing's broken, right? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, my boo.